Something I want to know is that in the original SNES version, the, the each letter appeared with each bong of the um with each bong of the fuck. It loaded or it showed each letter with each bong of the clock tower bell. Fuck, I don't know why that was so hard to say. Now, I did save. So we should just go to like load start and it'll bring up checking memory card. Yeah. Now, in theory, it should put us back in one of the rooms. Oh, well, that's so specific. Yeah, in this room. Let's see, we'll grab that. I thought I had already grabbed it when I saved, but maybe it it puts it in a different state. Lantern. Nice. So when last we left off with Clock Tower, shit hit the fan. Two out of three of our friends slash adopted sisters have died. And we're just trying to avoid getting myrtleized. Literacy work. Middle-aged woman is depicted. And from the window, the pool in the courtyard below can be seen. So now we just have to figure out what the fuck we're doing. So let's see, we entered on a room that was over here, so we're gonna go to our right here and see where we end up. I think that leads back into the rest of the manor. I'm trying to get back to one of the rooms we had seen. It's like the box, uh, room with the box where Scissorman actually popped up. Yeah, here we go. We should be able to go in there safely. And since we can, like, inspect the statues to some degree, I think we're supposed to, like, look at them. Why is that box resealed? I guess he's not in here now. That's strange. This part of the wall is a different color to the rest. I think now we can like push and or pull this out of the way. Oh, 
the wall seems to have been replastered for some reason. There are cracks in it, and it looks like it'll collapse. Ah. We grab this. And she just automatically knows the assignment. There's a room on the other side. Let's go explore! I wonder how long it hasn't been used for. The air is stuffy and heavy. It seems to be a medical record. Two newborn babies are the patients listed. It looks like a medical record. The patient's name is listed as Mary Burroughs. That's the name of the master of the house. Mary Burroughs. Dun dun dun! Could it be? Miss Mary is Mary Burroughs. And now for the skeleton. It's a skeletal corpse. It's a skeletal corpse. Oh wait, there's something else here? A black leather medical bag. There's a name embroidered inside. Walter Simpson. Walter Simpson? Uh, Walter? Okay, maybe now do we click on it? Yeah, here we go. Papa! The corpse is grasping a piece of paper in its hand. It appears to be a memo. Nineteen eighty-six. I am Dr. Walter Simpson. It has been three days since I was trapped within this room. I know that I won't have long now, but before the end, I must record it all. Those twins will be a blight to this world. I was brought here to this mansion for the sake of the wife's delivery. What she brought into this world, though. Not two boys, but the spawn of the devil. Shortly after their birth, they both devoured my right hand. However, their bodies weren't deformed, and they won't be able to function properly. I can only hope that they'll not last any longer than three days at most. If they were to continue to live, they must be killed no matter what. If they aren't stopped, then they will bring chaos onto the world. Breathing is painful. The air in this room is running out. There's no air left. Within a cradle under a star are the two boys sleep in a, in a dark chamber. Jennifer. 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 I am legit curious, because, like, if you're in a position where you can't get any water or food, like, I know thirst is going to kill you before hunger will. But when you're trapped in a room like this, would it be the lack of air that kills you first? Or would it be, like, the dying of thirst? So we have found Papa. And why we became an orphan. Kind of a sick irony that the lady that adopted us, uh... Is the one who killed her dad! Hmm? 
What this? A lot of expensive paintings have been stacked here. Oh. I don't think this light will work. So yeah, now we've got more lore context. If I hear the wind going, it windy. It's been storming on and off like the past couple of days. Okay. So we have a lantern. We have a sharp rock, a rope, and ham. I know what the ham goes to, but I don't remember what the rest of this goes to. So we'll just have to keep exploring. Yeah, so, um, apparently OBS decided to be a little bitch, and I had to restart it, so I've just been what I thought was streaming for, like, the last 40 minutes. And 30 minutes of that was just gameplay, so that'll, that'll be fun to have in the VOD. Although maybe I can just exclude it, because it's like, I didn't really, well, no, I can't exclude it because there was, like, lore shit. Angie. Angie Burb. Bullshit. <sighs> Gotta love it when technology just decides to not work. Yeah, thank you, doggo. Because, like, I would have sat here just thinking, oh, well, I guess nobody's talking. I just must be background tonight. Do 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 do. I just kept going on my merry way. Uh. That doesn't seem to have been used. So, um,. That's fun. Hey Luna, welcome in. Thank you for the biddies. Bits for a dumb burb. She needs new brain surgery because she is a dumb. Pat, pat, pat. Guy have received head pats. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, doggo, for noticing. Holy fuck. Like, I fell out of the habit of keeping Twitch open on my desktop. Just because I felt like I didn't need it. I should just get back in the habit of keeping that open so I can see if my stream is actually working. Because that was bad. And now I don't even remember if the room I'm trying to go towards is on the second floor or on the first floor. Because, like, one of the neat things about this game... Do I... Can I use this with this? One of the neat things about um, clock tower is that the rooms can be not necessarily randomly generated, but they will move around. So it's like it's not a solid lay, uh, not a solid layout. It's a key. Copper key. Hmm. 
Yes. If you need me to do something, I'm in the middle of streaming. Okay, when you get done, can you take my crows down? Sure. I'm on laundry duty tonight. I hope I don't forget. Actually, I better just set like a fucking timer to remind me. Because I know I will forget. Wait, that's Google. Okay, that's what I was doing. I legitimately forgot within two fucking seconds. What the shit? Okay. Okay! Well, never mind. I don't have to. Uh, Dad's doing the laundry for me. Hmm. Seems to be locked. We do not have the requisite key, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's a fancy key. I think it probably goes to, like, that one room. Uh. And by that one room, I mean the one... That has, like, the ringing phone. So let's see if we can head back there. I hear a poochie borking in the distance. Well, we're not going this way, I guess. We'll have to go using the stairs. Oh. Well then. I'm just abusing the fast forward function to get over here really quick. I will show you the lore that was missed out on because I was fucking dumb. Let's see, will it play it again? Skeletal Corpse. Uh, I guess it's not gonna play it again. Lame. But we've got We've got this medical paper that's like, hey, there were two babies born. And this one over here that's like, hey, Mary Burroughs is the mom. It's like, oh no. And this is, uh, this was our dad. This is Walter Simpson. He did. He very did. And it was like a whole little thing with like scrolling text and her holding her, her uh, dad's body. Go forward now. Oh, 
But now I'll get to check upstairs to see if the room I think is up here is here before we also head back and check to see if the copper key will open that door. The burb is very specific about her plans. Hmm. I will say, while some rooms get shuffled around, if I remember right, the room with, like, the, um, the baby and her dad, that's always in the same place. Let's see, that was one of the rooms we were in. That's like, I think that's like the main office. And then there's like a bedroom next to it here. These two lead together so you can kind of like run around. I will say that is one thing that does sort of disappoint me, but I don't know how they would have done it better. In that... Whenever you come out into the hallway, Scissorman always spawns to the right side of it at the very end of it. He doesn't, like, come from the doors unless you're in that room. Let's see, what's this? Light switch must be broken. We're just not gonna fuck with the curtain. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Um, okay. Just descends from the ceiling. What the fuck? Oh. What's in here? Taking a long time to load this room. Okay, so we're here now. Showing up for the moment, so can we just wait here and maybe sit? No, she will not sit in here. So, like, you see what I mean? I locked the door from the inside.
Is that it? We go outside and he's not there. He's not gonna shank us with the shears. You know... <laughs> I was honestly expecting him to be behind the curtain, not descend on us from above. That was quite effective. And yeah, there she goes. We'll grab the copper key. Have it at the ready. Should open this door. Emphasis on should. Uh, excuse you. I told you to open the door with the key, not continue to go forward past it. Yeah, it's locked onto it. Yeah, it's locked onto it this time. Now go open the damn door. Oh. It looks like the glass was used very recently. There's still liquid at the bottom of it. Uh. There's a silver key tucked underneath the glass. Pocketed silver key. Excellent. Gasp. The telephone line has been cut. So who is the phone? Various bottles of drinks are displayed. Oh, okay, there she goes. I thought she was fixing to, like, go outside again. Oh, and the night just falls over. Wardrobe. There's some women's clothing inside. There's a strange piece of clothing. Got black robe. Alright, well, we're gonna need that. So the light in here works. But let's turn it back off. Um, we, we we clicked on the light switch again, not the wardrobe. Methinks, uh, methinks there might be some slight bugginess. Okay. Let's see if we can go back to the fucking piano room and see if there's anything for us in there. Because, like, while we got the black robe, we're not going to be needing that until much later. Does that automatically work? Is she automatically gonna... No. Lame. But I guess because it's technically on a different screen even though it's like the same screen.
kind of where it's like there's that one empty space of wall, two empty spaces of wall. Why not put a painting up? Or like add light fixtures. See, there's that stupid thing that tripped us again. Uh. I think the piano room is this way. Nope. That uh That's the mannequin room. We're uh we're not going to skip going into that room. I at least remember which one that one is. I guess it's like a small hole in the floor, maybe, or a piece of board that's like sticking up. Because she keeps consistently tripping on it when we're having to run away from the scissor man. And don't hold me to this, but I think once we've experienced the one jump scare from the room, he doesn't spawn in them again. Making some little save states. Just because I don't trust my own memory. But what hole in the ceiling is there that he just drops down from? There's only junk inside. I'm still not touching that curtain. Record player. Power outlet isn't turned on. Yeah, no. I don't trust that. Last time that music started playing, the fucking Scissor Man showed up. And I know what I just said, but like I said, I don't hold, hold myself to that information. And this is like the little kid's room that's ruined all this shit. Well, we did get a- we have a silver key and a copper key. So, there was a room that was locked downstairs on this side. So that's the music room, the kids' room, and then the study that's up here. So we're gonna go downstairs and figure out what else there is. I think this just leads to, like, the hallway. Yeah, it's taking a while to load it. I think this is it, yeah. So we don't need to go this way. She walks so slow. Yeah, she do. But I can't really blame her because, like, she doesn't know this place at all. A 
and running around increases your panic meter, so you're, you kind of have a vested interest to just walk everywhere. If you run, you will get yourself killed, potentially. Because, like, if Scissorman shows up and he catches us, if we are, like, blue or green health, we have pretty good odds at being able to fight him off. If we're orange or red, more than likely we're just gonna fucking die. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is this room. We have a sharp rock. But I don't think that's what we need. I may have to look up a walkthrough, because, like... I think you only really find the father's body on one route, so seeing that as we did see the body, I think that tells me what route we're on, but I don't remember a lot about it. But I think it's supposed to be like the non-canon route, because like, there's two routes if I remember correctly for Clock Tower. One is the scepter, the other is the uh, purple idol statue. And Purple Idol Statue, as per later games, is the canon one. She walks with zero purpose. It's the most NPC walk I've ever seen. Look, okay, she's 14. She's scared. She doesn't know who's gonna pop around the corner. Like, I, I again, I don't blame her for walking this slow. Okay, this is the bathroom. She's got the cautionary strut. What does running look like? Uh. Okay, okay, okay. This must be the room where we can use one of the keys, right? Right, 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 right? Right, right. Bunk. And running looks like this. But as you can see, our meter down there goes down. And we can't really tell her to sit. We have to wait for her to sit down. And when she sits for long enough, her health region. Angry steppies, yes. Many angry steppies. When you're being chased by Scissorman, you don't get a choice in whether or not you're running or walking. Baby crack. Nothing here. Okay, yeah, so we did pick up the key. So we've picked up the gold key, copper key, and the gold key, but only the copper key appears to have shown up in our inventory for some reason. Although, alternatively, I can always just, like, hit tab to fast forward and go through shit faster. It's 
Let's see, so yeah, we want this doorway here. Now she moving. Chug. Cause there's like two doors I forgot about. And I wanna check them out because I think one of them was locked and the other one like goes to like the hiding spot I keep forgetting about. Silver cube is used. Yeah, we can go in here now. So what's in this room? So I guess like the keys are used autumn. So this is the ritual room. Normal chair. There are various types of chemicals on the desk. Hmm. There's a mural across one entire wall. I can't- oh, whoops. Across one entire wall. I can't see the whole mural. One part of it's hidden behind that shelf. Can we shove it? Uh, survey says yes. There's a cheesy looking magic book on the shelf. The room where a ritual is being held is depicted. I wonder if the room depicted is in this place. Oh, uh, yo. We need a green bottle of fire. So they want a fireball. Perhaps then. One of the two. So, like, that's the ritual room. Or, like, the clue about the ritual room. Yeah, and this is like the hiding room. So like, she'll try to get over, her leg will do the little kickies. No good, I can't climb it. And now she can climb over. Let's see, what's in the box? There's nothing there. But now we have a hiding spot unlocked, basically. So if Scissorman comes chasing our ass, we just hop over that. And this way is where we got one of the other keys, so... We're gonna go this way. I'm trying to think of what else we can do, though. 
because I am I am feeling a little legitimately lost so let me let me get a gander here Let's see, um, I guess we can go back to the master bedroom. So yeah, we got to go back to the little master bedroom. Or at least what I think is the master bedroom. Because I, I tried to get something from it before, but it wouldn't let me. But we'll see if it'll let me do it now. Here we go. I didn't click to check the drawers last time I was here. There's a small bottle of perfume. It's the same as our teacher's, Miss Mary's. Got a bottle of perfume! Oh, it looks like the skulls, uh, their eyes are no longer bleeding, so that's good. I guess they must have gotten used to the light being on. Uh, actually, let me see something really quick. I already checked it earlier, but I want to see if it, like, changes. Empty. Yeah. So now I gotta go to the kids' room. This theme of this game. I just died in your arms tonight! Ugh. I mean... Technically, her dad didn't do that, and it's more of like, you die on the end of my garden shears, you bitch, but... But also, hello Ragnarok, welcome in! Uh, 
I am tired. Finals are coming up and a burb just wants it all to be over with. We're also trying to figure out what the fuck's going on in this game. I gotta go and find the items from the kids' toy box. Oh, okay. So... Huh. Gotta keep going until we see, like, the statues. So, like, there's only one we can examine. And it's this one. Any similar statues are lined up. So, like... Okay, so... We actually do have to open up the curtain. music room this way. Now watch, I'm gonna try to open up the curtain to try to get the scepter, and it's gonna be, surprise, Gizzard Man instead. Oh, no, it's here. Huh? The metallic cane is stuck in this celadon pot. Yoink, obtained cane. Oh. And yeah, we're getting out of here before that weird ass music starts up. So it was like, really a cane, or? Or I guess maybe they just call it a cane, even though it's a scepter? I don't know. So we got that, which means we're probably getting the non-canon ending. Get the key from the meat locker in the kitchen, go to the phone room, get the silver key from the table, reading room, examine books on the table. Hmm. Well, it could be because this is like a fan translation. Because both version, both ports of Clock Tower, the original game, like uh, the SNES version and the PlayStation port, were only made and released in Japan.
So I want to say these are probably just fan translations, but I don't know. Because there are some games that are made in Japan and only released in Japan that still have, like, English voice acting and subtitles. I guess for immersion's sake. But I don't know if Clock Tower was one of them. I don't think it was. Oh, okay. So, like, only some of the room swap. Looks like a chick from the... Let's see. These games are good, but America would be like, Oh my god, Bailey, that game's so scary. I'm calling the FBI. I mean, for its time, it was very scary. And it's been jump-scaring me a good uh, portion of the time. Especially with the windows last week. She looks like a chick from the craft. Yeah, kind of. If I'm not mistaken, she is... Uh, Jennifer is based off of... Um, an actual American actress, but I can't remember her name. So, like, we've got a cane. Uh... I guess... Oh, I went into the wrong room. I don't want to be in here. Skizzer man shows up in here. I don't want to be in here. Fuck that noise. If he wants to hang out amongst the dresses, uh, that that that's that's his prerogative. I will not interrupt. Interrupt his uh playing under pretend tense time. I want to see if... Yeah, the picture you sent me, I don't... I don't know if that's the actress that they based her off of, but yeah, very, very akin. Very akin. Alright. You have a key I want. Just instant death. Well, shit. Bro really said, oh, yeah. Yeah, he did.
gonna grab this back. Yeah, getting her out of there before Slenderman- not Slenderman, fuck. Before the kid shows up. Ah, uh, actually, let me look at the thing again. So, there is supposed to be... So we need to go into, like, the kids' room anyway. There's a key on top. Pocketed ritual key. Okay, we got the key. What's that sound? It's my boar, Pay Raven. Welcome in. Oh. The fuck? Oh, it won't open. <laughs> it looks like we're watching a scary film in the dark room. Yeah, kind of. So, how... How the fuck do I defeat the doll? is going to be the question here. Defeat the what? You'll see. Oh. So it's uh, that doll this time. So it changes. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Getting mixed messages from the soundtrack. Why is little Rachel- Oh, this is why little Rachel should have a Glock! Just shoot the dolls, bang, bang. Maybe this one?
Where in the funk? Wait, they own the copyright word company studio human? Yeah. Although I think the uh the studio is now long since defunct. Emphasis on think. Um, hmm. So I just kind of sat here long enough and the doll started up its deal. The big clown doll. I think when I last played this on stream, this is also where I got stuck uh, for a little bit. Because I couldn't quite figure out what button I was supposed to be pushing. And I'm just gonna save state here. Uh, for anyone that's using, like, the Logitech, uh, pad, I had to hit the A button a lot. I don't know what that translates as to other controllers. But the- the evil th is defeated. Oh, boy, I got some security cameras, and first thing I thought was, I hope I can capture a terribly blurry, vague shape and we can pretend it's a ghost! Ooh. Gonna have all the spook showing up on camera. Party at Raven's house. I got something something very funny. So let's see now. Um one of my mods is oh. Would it be alright if I mention it, Doggo? It's something you just sent me, it's funny. Uh, I don't care. Okay. 
They just had a high thought that men have two stages in life. Oh no, my dick might get hard. And oh no, what if my dick doesn't get hard? And it's just followed by a gif of a guy stroking his long stringy beard. Like, hmm. <laughs> it's great. So that that's just funny right there. <laughs> Little Wixels, oh, that's adorable. Okay, so now where the fuck am I going next? Okay, I gotta go downstairs. Because there's a place I didn't go. I didn't go to it because I forgot I could do it. Because I still have the sharp-ass rock. So we're going to go get that. This place looks spooky, even the quiet bits. Oh yeah, that's one of the reasons why this game is so scary, is because you go for long stretches of time with nothing that happens. And then all of a sudden, Scissor Man comes out of the fucking ceiling, lands on the piano, goes -ha 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 -ha, and then chases you around the mansion. That happened earlier. Little fucker. Who comes out of the ceiling? Scissor Man. But his name is Bobby. Mm. Well, okay, scary for the time. Oh, of course, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, we are going this way. I gotta go brush teeth. Don't eat me, Scissor Man. I'm sure they won't bite. So, like, there's this, and we need the sharp rock. I will say something I'm noticing from this and the PC, uh, not PC port. And this seems to be the mansion's courtyard. We're gonna go this way. And I think we can go in here, but we're gonna wait on that a second. And now this door can be opened! What's in the shed? Hopefully not a flutter shy. That'll chainsaw our heads in half. Oh no. Oh. Just standing here menacingly. Oh, magical 2 by 4 share with us your wisdom. Mm -mm. There is nothing here for us. 
So we are just gonna fucking leave. Although I guess we could inspect the water and see if we see our friend. Pray to the plank that the ghosts do not gank, for the wood is what you have to thank. Yes. Uh, I guess there's nothing here. I guess it's been too long since, like, she died. So the game is like, no, we're not doing that. Now, it's almost time to swap games. So we're gonna do that momentarily, but first... Gonna save state, save state. And we're gonna save. And this reason alone is why this version is better than the original SNES version, because the SNES version you couldn't save. You had to do all that shit in one go. And this one, you can save. It's nice. So we should have the keys. Yeah. The car's ignition key is missing. There's some sort of key. It's a car key. Pocketed car ignition key. Okay, now, now we have the key. Now we can leave. Oh, do we have to like... How many burps does it take to figure out how to use a car? But... Everyone else is... I think you just have to keep using it until she goes for it. What should I do? There she goes. It just breaks through. Oh. So is she just not gonna die? Is that- Man, this, uh, this font does not work well. Like, if it weren't for the shapes of the words themselves, some of them you wouldn't be able to tell what's being, uh, put on screen. Oh wait, here we go. In 
so Jennifer returned to the orphanage and was found in her room. Oh, so like they changed it in this one. And three days later, oh, oh, dead end. Okay, so I thought she like survived, but no, instead of like, I thought Jenny was about to perish. Like in the original, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, like, in the original, you see Scissorman show up in the, uh, the rearview mirror. 